Welcome to NCIX Tech Tips. Today's episode is all about the ASUS Transformer TF700 Pad Infinity Transformer Pad. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> Now that intro wasn't smooth, but this segue is going to be. As unsmooth as my intro was, that is how buttery smooth this Tegra 3 tablet is to navigate whether you're browsing the web, watching YouTube videos, browsing the Android market, or just scrolling around on it. The one thing that's still a little bit on the slow side is rotation, and we've come to expect that from Android tablets. I'm expecting a Jelly Bean update to significantly improve that with Project Butter. Now what makes this smoother than other ice cream sandwich tablets? I can tell you the biggest thing is the fact that it's using the fastest Tegra 3 processor available. It's clocked at 1.6 gigahertz or 1.7 gigahertz in single core mode, which means that it is up to 20 to 30 percent, well no not 30 percent, I think that's a bit of an exaggeration. It's up to 15 to 20 percent faster than a Tegra 3 tablet that's clocked at the normal 1.3 gigahertz. It also has a huge upgrade that's been made to the memory bandwidth that's available to it. Instead of using slower clock DDR2 memory, it's using 1600 megahertz DDR3 memory, meaning the memory bandwidth available to this tablet, it's got one gig of it by the way, is equivalent to a couple generation old desktop PCs running dual channel DDR2 memory, which is absolutely outstanding. You can expand the storage. It's available in 32 gig or 64 gig configurations with the micro SD slot on the side, but the biggest upgrade is the screen. So it has the best contrast ratio that ASUS has delivered on a transformer tablet to date, and it's running at full HD, 1920 by 1200 resolution, and it also has, oh, I already had it activated, it also has an IPS plus mode that will boost you up over 600 nits in terms of screen brightness, which means if you're walking around outside taking pictures on your tablet, you're going to be able to frame things just fine. I mean, I've always thought that's a little bit weird taking pictures on your tablet. I mean, it's not like the convenience factor of carrying around a tablet is better than, you know, a pocket camera, but to each his own, and I've seen people doing it. So if you're gonna do it, you might as well have a tablet that performs well while you're at it. So there you go. Huge resolution screen giving you crisp text, crisp images, and the brightness that it takes to use it in any environment. Now speeds and feeds are fascinating, but it's not gonna do you any good unless you have an ergonomic and well-designed tablet. So first of all, I wanna talk about the Sonic Master integrated audio. Welcome to my unboxing and first look. It's maybe Asus not the ROG clearest audio Xbox in the world. I'm just going to turn this that down. But as you guys can see, it's as loud as my projecting, presenting voice when it's sitting in the same distance away from my microphone. So what that means is as long as I'm not covering up the speaker on the back, I'm going to have an experience where I can actually hear the song or the... It's okay. It's still running, see? It's durable. Uh, where it's actually... Um, where I can actually hear the song or the movie that I'm watching without having to use an external speaker such as a jam box. Uh, in terms of other, <laughs> sorry, I'm a little distracted. Other external features, we've got the micro SD card, which we've talked about before, micro HDMI, a headphone jack. On the bottom, you see the docks that we're used to seeing on transformer tablets. So there's two docking ports as well as the power and data port. That allows you to connect it to the 19, uh, 19.5 watt hour battery that's also got a keyboard on it. So you can turn this whole thing into a small notebook or a, or a netbook running the Android OS. It was a great feature on the original Transformer and it's still great on the Infinity version because you get that additional battery life plus that extra functionality. On the other side, we find not a whole lot and on the top we find power and volume rocker switches. On the back, we see one of the most significant changes they made to the design. So you still got that beautiful aluminum back. Personally, I'm not much of a metal-backed tablet guy, but it sort of works here. It looks really nice. And on the top, you find a plastic strip. That addresses the problem that Prime owners had with wireless reception and GPS accuracy. So now they have beefed, up, beefed it up to the point where at a distance from your router, you can get several times the data rate that you were getting on your Prime if you're upgrading from that one to the infinity. And last but not least, we've got the built-in 8 megapixel camera on the back with a flash. It is redesigned over the original or over the prime, but it hasn't made that much of a difference. And a light sensor as well as a front-facing camera on the front. So the conclusion on the Transformer Pad Infinity is pretty much one you have to draw yourself. It's still pretty expensive, especially when you compare it to smaller devices such as the Nexus 7. 
Okay, so it's got that going against it, but it has a couple cool things going for it. If you already have a transformer prime and you, it's using the correct firmware, you can actually just plug them right in together. You can use your existing prime keyboard dock to use with the Infinity. They haven't redesigned that. It also has form factor going for it. It is almost as thin as the transformer prime. Very, very close and it doesn't weigh significantly more. Now, you do compromise a little bit in terms of battery life in order to achieve that. It still only has a 25 watt hour battery, which is the same as the Transformer Prime, although it has a beefed up processor and a higher resolution screen. However, it still does get the stated nine and a half hours of battery life in most applications, and if you need more, you can always add on the keyboard dock. So thank you for checking out our episode on the Transformer Infinity from ASUS. Don't forget to subscribe to NCIX Tech Tips.